I'm Jacqueline Glenn for those of you who don't know me and today I'm filling in for TJ because he's out of town and I wanted to start this video by asking you a question that I'm sure you're probably bored of because you hear it all of the time but what do a class of fourth graders and abortion have in common? Absolutely nothing should be the answer but unfortunately it's not for Representative Warren Gruen because he decided to completely shatter the hopes and dreams of a class of fourth graders because he thought that their little project to try to get a bill passed to learn about the legislative process was the perfect opportunity and great timing to talk about how violent abortion can be. Cause that makes sense, right? So this class of fourth graders, like I said, to learn about the process of passing a bill, decided to try to make the red-tailed hawk the state raptor. And they're sitting there watching this in their classrooms and this is what they saw. But it grasps them with its talons and then uses its razor sharp beak uh, to rip its victim to shreds and to basically tear it apart limb by limb. And I guess the shame about making this a state bird is it would serve as a much better mascot for Planned Parenthood. Is it just me or does this feel completely unnecessary? Now, first of all, I feel so bad for these kids because not only did they put a lot of time and effort and heart into this thing, they had to sit there and watch it not pass, but in such a horrible way that they just kind of got it thrown back into their face. I thought it was completely disrespectful. I'm all about free speech and not having to censor yourself and all that, but come on, it's a class of fourth graders. Is this really the opportunity that you needed to seize to make your point about abortion, really? Kind of sad because we, we've been working on it for a while. But that didn't matter to him, obviously, because this Republican asshat had an agenda of his own. Planned Parenthood and abortion have nothing to do with the state bird, and if he wants to talk about abortion, there's a time and a place to do that. But this was not fucking it. I mean, I feel like he had to reach to make this comparison. I mean, you could say violent things about any animal. Oh, I see a University of Florida, the gators, alligators, they just sit there and they attack their prey and they rip it apart limb for limb. The gators, you're gonna sit there and go like that? That reminds me of the clamps of the tools they use to pull out the body parts of fetuses whenever women have abortions, which is against God. And you know what? If you wanna call yourself the gators, that's fine, but I think it'd be a better mascot for Planned Parenthood. You could say it for anything. You could compare any animal that is a predator of any kind to abortion, technically, if you want to talk about ripping things limb from limb, except for the fact that, you know, it's the difference between an unborn thing and a living thing, which I could get into that, but that's an entirely different video and I've said things on abortions multiple times in previous videos on my channel and I don't want to talk about it in this video. I just want to point out what a fucking idiot this Republican asshole is and I feel so bad for the hopes and dreams of these children that were crushed. They learned pretty much all that they needed to learn though about politics, which is that politicians are assholes and no one really cares about how you feel and every man for himself, right? America. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments section below. And check out my channel, youtube.com slash Jacqueline Glenn. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, do it! Please. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys on my channel, hopefully. Bye!